If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good morning, children, and how are you this morning? Now, do you know today is what day? If yesterday was Tuesday, today is? Let's find out. Yes, so yesterday was Tuesday. Let's say the days of the week and we will find out. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday. Okay, boys and girls. And Wednesday is the third day of the school week. Let's spell Wednesday. Capital W E D N E S D A Y. Wednesday. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There are seven days in one week. Okay? Yes, there are seven days in one week. Boys and girls. And we come to school five days of that week. Okay? We are in the month of April. We are in the month of April. Okay? Now let's spell April. Let's look at the word on the screen and let's spell. Capital A P R I L. April. And April is the fourth month of the year. Wonderful. Okay. Boys and girls, we are going to say the vowels now. The A says A ah, and it also says A. The, a. the E says E and it also says E. The I says E and it also says I. The O says O oh, and it also says O. Oh. The U says A oh, and it also says U. A is for apple, a, a, apple. E is for elephant, eh, eh, elephant. I is for igloo, eh, eh, igloo. O is for ostrich, o, o, ostrich. U is for umbrella, o, o, umbrella. These are the songs in the vowel. Okay, boys and girls. And our value for this week is responsibility. What is our value? Responsibility. And responsibility means what? The state of being accountable for something. Okay? And remember, we said that we will be responsible boys and girls. Okay? Yes. And I'm happy to see that you are doing your work neatly at home there. Okay, boys and girls? Yes, so now we are going to talk about the, that special letter we are looking at for this week. Do you know what letter is that? Yes, it is letter D. Letter D. This letter belongs to a special family. And the name of that family is the Constanant family. Yes, the Constanant family. Okay. And the D makes a special song. Do you know that? Yes, we all know that. The D says D. The D says D. Dinosaur. D is for dinosaur. Okay, boys and girls. Now, we are going to look at some other things that begins with the letter D. Let's look on the screen. D is for dog. D, D, dog. Yes, boys and girls, letter D is for dog. Dog begins with letter D. When I say D, I am hearing the. When I say dog, I am hearing the D song at the beginning. Yes, that is so true. D, D, dog. So, D is for 
dog. Yes, let's give ourselves a little clap. Now look at this picture. Can you see the name of this picture? This is a doll. This is a doll. And when I say doll, hmm, let's think. What song are you hearing at the beginning? We are hearing the D song also. So D is for dog and doll. Mm, let's spell doll. D O L L doll. Okay. Yes. Good. Let's think about something else. Mm. Dolphin. Dolphin. Yes. Let's look at the dolphin. You see the dolphin there? Hmm. That is a dolphin. And when we say dolphin, we are hearing the D song at the beginning. Yes. D is for dolphin. Yes, boys and girls. What is the color of this dolphin? Mm, gray, right? Yes, it is gray. So, D is for dog. What else? D is for doll. Yes, doll, that's it. And D is for dolphin. Okay? Now, boys and girls, yesterday we talked about some things that end with letter D. Remember, there are things that begins with letter D and things that end with letter D. Letter D is at the end of the picture or at the end of the word okay when we say the word we are not hearing it at the beginning we are hearing it at the end let's think about some things that end with letter d hmm yes look at this picture this is a what bed yes boys and girls bed B -E -D. That is it, bed. Yes, so we got that one. B, E, D. It ends with the D sound. So, bed ends with letter D. If you look here, you can see letter D at the end. Okay? Yes, boys and girls. So let's think about one more thing. Hmm. Yes, bird. I got one bird. Look at this picture. That is a bird. And the bird is an animal. What it does? The bird flies, not so? Yes. When we say bird, we are hearing the D song at the end. B. D. Bird. D. You're hearing the D song there? Yes, it's at the end. So boys and girls, today we learned that some words begin with letter D. Yes. And some words end with letter D. Okay, boys and girls? So what we are going to do now, we are going to look at our literacy worksheet and we are going to do some work on letter D. Let's look at our literacy worksheet, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls. So now it is time for literacy and it's time to work. Yes, I hope you have your worksheet there and your pencils and eraser okay and your crayons okay so let's take a look at our literacy worksheet it says the first thing you have to do on the lines there you are going to write your name neatly okay then you are going to write today is wednesday okay boys and girls now let's read the instruction the instruction says Complete the words by writing the missing letter. Color the pictures. So, the first picture is a bed. Yes, at the top there, we can see a bed. B, E. B and E says be. Be. When we add letter D, it will be be. D. When we put them together, we get the sound bed. So at the end, on that line there, you are going to write letter D. You see, boys and girls, bed 
ends with letter D. Letter D is at the end of that word. Let's look at the other picture. That is a duck. Say duck. Right away we know that when we say duck, we are hearing the d sound at the beginning. So you are going to write letter D on the line there. Yes, letter D is at the beginning of that word, duck. The name of the other picture is a daisy. Say daisy. When we say daisy, we are hearing the d sound at the beginning. So you are going to write letter D on the line there. What is the name of that other picture? Hmm. That's a doll. What is that? Yes, it's a doll. And when we say doll, we're hearing the d sound at the beginning. Hmm. Yes, some words begin with D and some words end with letter D. Let's look at the other picture there. Now we can see part of a face and we can see a mouth. Hmm. Yes, and it looks, the mouth looks strong, like if the person is strong. In. So that word there is sad. What is that word? Sad. S-A says sa. When we add the D there to the end, the word becomes sa -d. Sad. What is that word? Sad. Yes. At the end of words, some words end with letter D. Okay, boys and girls. So you see how many things we learned today about letter D? Yes. Now there is another instruction at the bottom there. You see that? Yes. Let's read that instruction. It says, circle the words that begin or end with the D song. So you look in that box and you circle all the words that begin or end with letter D there. Okay, boys and girls. Yes, so that is it for Literacy or Phonics today. It's large group time. It's large group time. Everybody everywhere. It's large group time. What time it is? Large group time. What is our team for this term? Let's say it in a sentence. Our team for this term is community workers and transportation. Community workers are people who provide us with goods and services. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. Let's name some community workers. Here, we have the veterinary surgeon or the vet. Yes, he takes care of animals. Then we have the vegetable farmer. He is a community worker also. Then we have the construction worker. You see him there? Yes, the construction worker is a community worker. Then we have the mason. Okay, boys and girls. Now, these are just some of the community workers. Okay? Now, let's talk about our topic for this week. Our topic for this week is the poultry farmer. The poultry farmer and if you look here we can see the poultry farmers there okay and yesterday we learned that the pork poultry farmers rears what yes the poultry farmer rears animals such as ducks geese birds and hens chickens also that is what he does okay boys and girls now, yesterday, what did we talk about yesterday? Yes, we talked about some of the food that we get from the poultry farmer or from the animals that the poultry farmer rears, such as meat and eggs. You remember that? Yes, you remember you draw that in your book? Yes, boys and girls. And we also learned that when the poultry farmers sell its produce, you get what in return? Money. You get money. Okay? So you see, 
the poultry farmer is very important to us he is a community worker he is a community worker okay boys and girls now today what we will be talking about for science is the importance of or the, is the methods we'll be discussing various methods that can be used for cooking okay now meat can be cooked in different ways such as grilled and I know lots of you like grilled chicken not so mm-hmm what else mm-hmm grilled steamed baked and roast okay those are some ways meat can be cooked okay boys and girls so that is what we will be talking about today various methods of cooking okay yes and it's very important to cook your meat properly okay if you are cooking chicken if you are frying it you fry it properly if you are roasting a chicken you roast it properly so we learned that meat can be cooked in different ways there are different methods of cooking meat okay so we're going to look at a short video of how we can fry chicken Liam eat it okay Yum, yum, yum. Chicken, I love it. Hi, Hi Emma. Emma. Can you share chicken with us? No, sorry. Oh. I don't want this. I want chicken, Danny. What am I going to do? Emma, Emma, I need your help. Okay. Let's go. Yes! Wait, Leo! What happened? Taking food without permission is bad, Leo! But I want chicken! Hmm. Ah! Leo, close your eyes and take a deep breath! Okay! Leo, imagine that you're eating this chicken in this box! Okay, Jen! Now pretend you're gonna eat the chicken in this box! You're welcome, Uncle Kay. Huh? Huh, my chicken! Sorry, Emma. Sorry, not enough. My food is bad now. You can eat our food, Emma. I don't want it. Uh, hey, Jenny, Jenny. Huh? Good idea. Emma, stay here. We're going to be right back. Are you ready, Jenny? Not really. Why? I don't know how to make chicken. Just do it, Jenny. Okay. It's all done, Jenny. Ooh, let's see it. Huh? The chicken's burned, Liam. Oh. Hi, guys. What's wrong? We don't know how to make chicken. Super easy. Let me help you. Thank you, Uncle Kay. No problem. Thank you. Hmm. You should add flour. <laughs> now I will stir it. <laughs> All done. Wow. Ooh, yummy! Try it, guys! Hey! So yummy! Thank you, Uncle K! No problem! I have to go! Bye, guys! Bye! Leah, let's share our chicken with Emma! Okay! Let's go! Emma, Emma! We got chicken for you! Look! 
you. You're so kind. No problem. Sorry we dropped your food earlier, Emma. I shouldn't be selfish. It's my fault too. Then eat together. Yay! Mathematics time, it's mathematics time. Everybody, everywhere, it's mathematics time. It is mathematics time. Yes, boys and girls, and we are talking about numeral 16. How do we write numeral 16? A 1 and a 6. We are talking about the numeral, the number, and the name. Yes, so what we are going to do now. We are going to take a look at our numeracy worksheet. Let's take a look at our numeracy worksheet. Yes, this is our numeracy worksheet today. So you know, the first thing you have to do, you write your name on your lines there, and you write today is Wednesday, okay? Let's read the instruction. The instruction says, count the ducks, trace the numeral and numeral name. Count the ducks, trace the numeral 16, and the numeral name, okay? Yes, so let's count the ducks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we remember when we say ducks, we are hearing the D sound, yes? Okay, so what you are going to do now, you are going to trace the numeral there. Yes, follow the dotted lines and trace them neatly. Okay, boys and girls, you trace the numeral first and then you trace the name at the bottom there. Okay, and that is it for mathematics today. Okay, so goodbye.